Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how I did this composite image. So let's start. Okay, first what we need it's a background. We need to create a background and it will be created from basically these three images and one more which will be the sky and the little rocks in the back but basically this is the what we what we need first one is this rock it will be on the right side of the image and we need to select only this part of this image only the rock part I use for that a quick selection tool and just roughly select it because we don't need this part to be precise because we will blend it with the ground later okay with the alter option key we can deselect the parts that we don't like it to be in our selection like that and then press the mask here and now we have the rock pretty much good selected okay and then uh, with the move tool or V on the keyboard just move it to our document here and we need to transform it Control or command T and just decrease it in size something like that we will see later the exact size it will be somewhere somewhere here okay now we have uh, to, to select this rock again with the quick selection tool just make a rough selection here and again we will make a mask with the mask option here V on keyboard or here move selection tool and just move it to our document here okay now we need to transform it and rotate it command or control T right click flip horizontal and then move it somewhere somewhere here okay and decrease the size because we don't need so big rock here it will be somewhere here something like that we will adjust it later okay first what I want to do is uh, crop this this uh, image in ratio 16 9 okay something like that to be more cinematic look yeah and now let's make better position of these rocks okay decrease it a little bit in the size yeah let's leave it for now like like this maybe oops maybe here and this rock here you can select the objects on the scene by pressing control or command and uh, with the move tool just click on that object or layer and then you will see you, you can automatically select that you don't need to go here and to select layers you can do like this it's much more faster and then control or command T and then just decrease the size of this rock which will be somewhere somewhere here okay and the same ground level with this rock something like that yeah okay I will go back and forth to the original image just to see the reference of where are the rocks okay basically we will make this yeah we will make this rock a little bit this one a little bit bigger like that we don't need actually to make it exactly the same image but we'll try to make it something similar okay and decrease this just a little bit okay something something like like that perfect now what we need to do is to blend these rocks with this ground here uh, first I want to cut this part 
I will use a brush, B on keyboard or just press on the brush tool. Okay, I will use harder brush, the size, I don't know, something like this and just paint with the black on this mask to erase this part to make it how I want to be. Okay, something, something like this, nice. And then I will use more softer brush like this and with a little bit bigger brush I will slowly paint this part of the maybe maybe I will use opacity around 60% and paint this part of the rock just to better blend with with the background something like like that maybe to return this part here yeah nice and the same I will do with with this rock here I will paint with black and blend it blend it here like this great okay what we need to do with the background here we need to make a mask and uh, with the black brush just and opacity of 100% just erase the sky okay and I will erase everything to this part here okay and with the white brush paint this back okay let's see let's zoom to see you better okay this is the part where I need to be like this okay just to correct this part a little bit yeah okay uh, make it softer and maybe 40% and just paint it here perfect okay uh, we have some issues he here with the edges but I will not mind it because that will all be blurry later and what we need here is to put the sky and another rocks that's the same background this canyon canyon background and we will put it put it down below the ground level something like that and then just increase in size and move it like that okay now let's match uh, this color more to these two colors okay I will use hue saturation adjustment layer and clip it to only to affect this layer here we have a clipping option here or just uh, alter option and click it here or right click and uh, clip to clip to layer okay because now it's clipped we don't have it but here see right click and Great clipping mask. Okay, and now I will play with the options with the hue and a little bit saturation, just a little bit to match. Okay, nice. And then I will do the same with the background layer with the canyon, just lower the saturation a little bit, and yeah, make it like that. Nice. Then I will group all these layers together and call it background and then go to the next step and that will be creating a fake depth of field here. First what we need to do is to stamp all these layers into one and that we will do with the shift control alt e or shift command options e on a Mac and then go to a quick mask here. Okay how will this work? We need black brush with 100% opacity and we need to paint the image with uh, this, this red color. Everything what is paint with red will be selected and uh, everything what is paint with 100% opacity will be 100% uh, blurry of the amount that we choose. Everything that is less, paint with less opacity will be less blurry. Okay. We will paint this part with 100% opacity because it's far away. 
and this part here we will paint with maybe 40 or 30 something around that and make it nice transition from this part to this part because we need nice transition in a in our depth of field okay like that and nice something like that I think it's okay and just exit quick mask and we have here a selection we'll need to save this selection go here to select save selection and name it depth of field press ok and deselect this then go to filter blur lens blur okay we already have this selection as a source loaded in and you will see here we have some fake depth of field we will increase the radius more just to see the result everything what it's what was painted with 100% opacity it's 100% blur blurry of this amount here and yeah. everything else is less blurry this part we didn't paint and that's why this lens blur doesn't affect this part here at all okay this is too much for our needs and We'll make around 35 here. Let's see. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe yeah, around 35 and then press OK. Now we have this fake depth of fill result, which is pretty good. And then we can go to the next step and that will be creating a surfing board. First, what we need to do is to make rough sketch of that board and we will do that on a new layer uh, with uh, maybe white color and a brush we need just to quickly paint something let's zoom it a little bit to paint something like like this just rough sketch mm, it's not so good okay and then let's make this part here for example like that and like here and this or let's make first this part like maybe here to here and this is the rough sketch of the board it's not so hard to do you need to practice a few times but that's basically it and now what we need to do to make a new layer and with the pen tool here with the pen tool just mark here make the path here right click make selection and with the feather radius zero pixels press ok i will choose some color maybe the blue one and with the alt or options and backspace just fill that layer with the foreground color now on a new layer make this part here okay something like this okay Close the path, make selection and fill the path with the blue and on third layer make the final part of the board from, from this point here to this point here and here. Close the path make selection and fill it this time with the black color you will see why with the black now we can erase this sketch layer and see if anything it's if anything we need to to correct like this part here we will correct now let's see this is the part make mask brush and black brush just erase the parts that are not so good here okay and maybe to make this more round here something like that and here basically everything it's pretty good yeah this is not perfect overlapping but it's okay it won't be visible next thing what we need to do is to load some wood texture layer here 
Okay, I will put it here. And we need to clip it. First, let's clip it to this layer, the, the bottom part. Uh, let's see, maybe make it smaller. Smaller like that. And put it here. Then duplicate it. Alt and drag it. Alt or Option and drag it. Pre put it here. Then again press Alt and between those two layers clip it to this layer here. Okay, let's zoom it a little bit. And I will make it smaller. Even smaller. Like that. Maybe rotate a little bit. And I want to find these cracks in a wood to make this more interesting you will see mm, yeah, that could be okay let's put it like that and duplicate it again clip it and then oops wrong layer and then rotate it and match these cracks in the wood these lines to be like it's from the same part of the tree. Okay, nice. Next, what we need to do, it's just to lower the opacity of this first layer because the color beneath it's black, it will be darker and we will make the board be dark like that. Okay, it's, it's okay for now. What I don't like here, it's this transition, this uh, ra uh, rough corner here. I will correct it a little bit on this layer. Just make a layer mask and with black brush just paint it here and make it better. Make it as you want to be. Maybe like that, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, and for now our board is over let's group all these layers into one and make name it uh, surfboard and that's it now we'll go to next step and that will be to create these jet engines okay we need to sketch it again like we did with the surfboard make a new layer and then just paint with white color and the brush, let's see how it's on the original image. Uh, it's somewhere here, okay. It's somewhere here. It goes like this. Something like that. It has these holders here. It goes here. Okay. Let's rotate it a little bit. Uh, it's like that and we have another one but we will make this one and duplicate it and put it here we only need to m make first one let's see maybe it's too big okay yeah it's it's pretty much okay let's see something something like like this will be okay yeah that's it now what we need to do here uh, yeah, let's draw this part here because it will be visible too. Okay. What we need to do now is to put the texture in this file. Let's use the airplane engine. Need to select this part of the engine with maybe pen tool. Use the pen tool and just go around it like that. Yes, like this. Okay, let's select this part too. Nice. Okay, let's, let's do like that and correct this part and this part. Okay, make selection again, right click, make selection and just copy, control or command C go to this layer and control command V say OK and just put it here OK let's see with the 
if you hold control you can manipulate with these corners like that yeah but let's see it's like like that okay yeah that's the one part the other part will be this airplane engine number two and again use the pen tool and select this part of the engine oops no we actually need this part of the engine sorry like this okay and then just roughly select all these parts here and then go with this curve here and just select this okay make selection copy it go to this document paste it and then transform it to be to match the perspective and the size of that you can make like that yeah and put it below this part and with the mask and black color just just go and correct this this part here Okay. It will be something like like that. Actually, I don't like this part. Let's make it smaller, and then duplicate with Control Command J, and put it here, like like that, and then raise what it's like go to this curve here perfect and maybe put it below this layer or no or or i don't know let's see yeah we can erase maybe some part like like this part here we can erase this part something like that maybe paint back this part but it uh, doesn't matter because actually it won't be visible because of these holders let's put this sketch layer here just to see where these holders are okay temporary disable it and select everything let's rotate a little bit like that okay now we need to make these holders new layer with the pen tool same thing that we do did with the board like make that here here and here and here and then make her here just close the path okay like that make selection and just fill selection with some color let's make it white doesn't matter we can change that later okay we need to put some texture here and that texture will be some metal texture let's see maybe this one yeah we, we will use few textures maybe two this one again clip to this part and make some adjustments again make it smaller like this okay and put it here yeah perfect and then load the other texture okay and again make it really small like this clip it and with the mask just reveal some parts of the lower oops of the lower texture here with the black color and soft brush yeah, some parts only like this rusty parts maybe yeah okay and then what we need to do for this part here it's to use maybe curves and no 
we will do on another blank layer with a black color opacity maybe 20% I will use a pen pressure sensitivity because I use a vacuum tablet and just paint with the black with the black here and here this is the darker part yeah need to clip this layer too this is the darker part let's make this line here like that okay and this part make like it's curved yeah something like that it's nice okay for now this is good uh, we need to do the same thing to this engine part and we will do that by just see okay this is the holder this is we'll make a group of this actually I will merge those three layers together with control or command D and with another layer just paint with clip to this layer just paint with the black ah, same amount 20% opacity okay because the sound is going from this direction down and this will be a darker part okay the other thing what we need to do here this is a sketch to make this part here and we can do that just by copying these three layers four layers actually command control J and we can merge it with command control E put it here flip it horizontal actually actually don't clip it we only need this part let's make a mask and harder brush and erase everything yeah 100% erase everything here yes and we need to put this layer below this one oops and erase erase this 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 thing here yes and we will make that that layer darker a bit something like that and just make it darker with image adjustment curves just make it a little bit darker okay and we have one engine finished and we will group all these layers okay and call engine one we can delete this layer and then just duplicate the group called engine number two just move it here make it smaller a little bit something like like that okay and then delete the necessary part delete the unnecessary parts first what we need to do here let's see okay this part we can reveal this part here because now we need that okay that's why I make a mask that it's not destructible and then hide this part here make a mask and just paint with the black here and hide it okay nice let's see yeah it's okay and what I like to do here is to put some screws here okay it's here then we will put it inside the Photoshop decrease the size drastically because it's too big okay now with the uh, elliptical marquee tool we'll make the selection with the space bar you can move the selection around okay just some rough selection like like that and make a mask and then we have our screw ready uh, we'll put it in engine number one here 
Uh, let's move it here, zoom a little bit, rotate, make it a lot smaller and put it here. This is the first one and let's duplicate it and put here the another one and that's it. That's just for the details and we have our entrance ready and now we need to go to the next step and to make these jet muzzles. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. Just make a new layer, white brush, really soft brush, and opacity around 50% or so, and just draw something like that. Then use another color like yellow or something like yellowish and just make something like that and go to the white color again and do this part here maybe yellow again to make this bigger go back and forth and when we Finish with that, go to filter, blur, motion blur and just blur it a little bit because this is the original, just just a little bit something like that. Yeah, and that's pretty much okay. We need to duplicate this holding alt or option, just put it here. Okay, let's readjust and basically this muzzles are done let's group it and rename this layer okay now we can play with the board Vroom. i'm just joking okay what we need to do next is to put here that sail and i have that sail here on separate image it's from that this image we will use quick selection tool again just to separate this sail from a background and we need to be precise here let's zoom a little bit we'll make again a layer mask and if we mess something here we can correct it later okay holding Alter option key, just remove the unnecessary parts and select this part here. Okay, go here. We don't need the water, but we need this this part. Actually, we don't need that part, you will see why. But we need this blue part here and we need all of this here. Okay. Yeah, we need this, maybe this, this blue edge, okay, mm, this is slow process but you need to do it, and this blue part here, mm, yes, nice, let's see, okay, and we need this part too, let's make a mask again, and just put it in our document okay we need to flip it horizontally and put it under the surfboard layer because it needs to be here we need to rotate it like this and make it bigger okay make it bigger 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 let's see maybe something like like this okay and then readjust the position it will be somewhere here and then correct the mask let's see what is wrong with here okay this is something that i don't want okay oops and uncheck the 
and pressure sensitivity. Let's make this and this. Okay, let's see. This part too. Okay. This is pretty good. Yes, nice. And we need to correct this part here. But with not so soft brush, we need a much harder brush. Unzoom it and from here, holding shift, press here and erase everything else. That will be okay. You don't not need to go to these small details like I'm doing right now because nobody will see it. It will be only for web, smaller resolution like maybe like this. Nobody will, will see if you miss it somewhere here or somewhere here. And that's basically it, just correct this a little bit. Okay, and I will remove this blue part a little bit like that. Now what we need to do is to erase this part here. Again quick selection and quick select. It. <laughs> then what we need to do here it's just erase it with again with black brush here and be careful don't erase this bar okay and again this part here and we don't need anything of this okay and inner part okay nice That's it. And now with the active selection, I just want to make a new layer and fill it with with some color like color like this rock. Something like that. Yeah, just fill it and lower the opacity a little bit. Or maybe we can fill it with uh, if you want to select again that, just press control or command click on that layer and just fill it with maybe with white. Yeah, to have something like like that you can play with the colors okay nice we have a sale here another thing what I like to do here is to change the color of this sale with the adjustment layer hue and saturation and clip that layer to the sale layer because I want to affect only that and I only want to affect the yellow color and make it red lower the saturation and lower the lightness a little bit maybe put the saturation a little bit up let's experiment yeah okay and the blue color I want to be completely dark just lower the saturation here like this and that's it we can group all these three layers name it sale and all these layers we can group into wind surf ink board okay nice we have now windsurfing board and our background layer and the next step will be to add a model here someone need to ride this surfing board Vroom. okay let's find the model open this file in photoshop and this is the original file we should model on this board here with the position we like to be on the image and for the time sake of this tutorial I already extracted this model from the background is the same procedure as before use quick selection tool and carefully paint over the model make a mask and you will get the result like that okay now I will put the model here on this file transform it Control command T and make it smaller to fit fit the scene here. Okay, let's see. Needs to be somewhere 
here. It's too small now. Rotate it a little bit. Uh, let's put it somewhere here. Adjust the position. And maybe like like this, maybe I will readjust the sail position too. Let's leave it mm, for now like that and move the sail somewhere here and then readjust the model size again. Mm, that's that's okay. That's actually okay, only what I don't like, yeah, maybe, maybe just, just a little bit bigger. Uh, that's it. That's nice. Okay, now we have a model here. And let's see, I need to erase this part too. Again, black brush. 100% opacity and just paint here okay and paint here nice and let's see our model it's ready for right nice now we will play with dodge and burning of the model. I will do that with the curve layers. One is for dodge and inverse the mask and another it's for burn. Okay again make like that and I like to add a black and white layer just to have better control over the lights. I don't want to watch the colors for now. Okay this is dodge this is burn layer and we will oops i will clip it both layers to model i will use a white brush really soft see and uh, with the opacity maybe of 10 percent and use pen pressure sensitivity and just paint this part with the white the upper part of the model here okay this part and this part here okay maybe to brighten this hand just a little bit something like that's it it's okay now i will darken some parts like this back part here and this part of the pants here and because it's on the opposite side of the light a little bit of this part but not too much something like this would be perfect Okay, let's see the result before and after, before and after. Actually, I like it. Nice. And now we can get rid of this black and white layer, but let's leave it here for now. Group this and call it dodge and burn. And make everything here in another group name it model okay and the next thing what I like to do I like to add some shadow beneath and some smoke here and we will do that in the next step okay let's add some shadow beneath the model make selection of the model and make selection of the surfboard okay we don't have complete surfboard in one selection then we need to uh, press ctrl and shift or command and shift and click on every part of the surfboard and then paint with with the black fill with the black okay transform 
flip vertically and we will put it here something like like this and then blur a little bit filter blur gaussian blur let's make it around 30 pixels lower the opacity let's see maybe maybe here and maybe like like this and what I would like to do now is to paint with black here because let's put 100% vest because this actually will not be visible I think but let's paint it like like that nice and now we have a shadow maybe to lower opacity a little bit more and somewhere somewhere here nice the next step will be to blur this background more to get that motion blur effect now we will go to background and I will duplicate this layer just in case press ctrl or command J go to filter blur you can do with two ways you can do with motion blur and just blur it like that or you can go to the filter and in new Photoshop CC 2015 or 2014 uh, you have blur gallery and you have pad blur and okay something wrong with my drivers make this pad like this and this point I will add edit end point speed because I don't want this far away part to be so blurred just a little bit and this part here will be more blurred it's like like this is okay let's see yeah this is actually around 250 pixels maybe and let's see unzoom it a little bit. yeah I like this way press OK and now let's see the result nice I like it let's see before and after before and after it's more dynamic now than before this is a little bit boring but for me this is much better the next thing what I like to do here is to add a little bit smoke over here just a little bit and that will be here engine between yeah, it can be here at the top use a white brush and just with the low opacity and the low hardness just paint with with some white color like like this okay and let's zoom it a little bit and we can blur this blur motion blur but just yeah like that it's nice okay and we have now a smoke effect too and now if you want you can add some uh, dust here that is uh, dust from the ground because this surfer uh, it's riding really fast through this canyon and we can do that on background layer here make another layer and just sample some color like this and another color darker darker one yeah okay maybe this need to be a little brighter than this and we need some lower opacity not, not maybe 50 percent and soft brush and just paint here like this is the dust okay then use a hard darker brush make some dots here okay then again brighter one and darker one and mix it like that ok 
cave something like that and now let's let's blurry this a little bit motion blur let's see nice okay we can now image adjustment curves and darker that a little bit something like that let's see play with this until we get result we want and yeah, maybe something like that and transform it a little bit okay that's pretty much okay yeah something like this and maybe to put one layer below and to paint with really dark color and really low opacity because here needs to be a little shadow but it's okay yeah it's okay nice we are almost done the final step will be to make some color correction and add some details to this image okay first let's add some black and white adjustment layer and adjust things let's see okay put it in a soft light mode and see the result okay I will use maybe 40% of the final result let's make the image a little bit bigger before and after okay next use the curves layer make more contrast here put that on luminosity okay next thing will be to add another curve layer and make some split toning effect okay let's find some red color like this let's see before and after I like it and the next thing will be to add a solid color layer put some color like dark blue like that and put in exclusion blending mode and we have something like that we can change the colors and have a different look okay let's see maybe if we change more towards the blue yes I like that and now I will stamp all layers shift command option E or shift alt control E and then what I like to do next it's few things first I like to use the Nix Nick Color FX Pro that's plugin for Photoshop it's really good and I use it all the times in my composites and here I often use this detail extractor you will see now okay to add some details on the scene uh, we have the contrast slider here detail extractor slider here okay let's add some details like around 20% and let's see make more contrasty okay and that's that's okay for now let's see the result nice I will lower the opacity here around 60% let's see yes and make layer mask and with a black color and around 50% opacity I will paint these far away parts because I don't like that parts to be so detailed and this part it's okay maybe his skin it's not done doesn't need to be so detailed yeah and the cloud too okay let's see before and after maybe around 50 percent yeah I like it that's the one thing the other thing what I like to do let's stamp it again and use filter and camera row filter and play with the settings 
contrast a little bit of clarity here we can do again split toning maybe make more yellowish uh, highlights and maybe some let's see yeah maybe some reddish shadow here because it's a canyon and then go to the sharpening part and sharpen this a little bit like let's see something like that and go back to this part let's see highlights need to be a little bit brighter shadows are okay yeah, I don't like this feel now I like darker shadows here and I like to play with saturation vibrance and that's that's okay for me let's see before and after it's really nice and maybe it's too much red here I will do that with color balance and just lower the red toward the cyan here in the midtones and that's it let's group all this and name it color correction let's see before and after color correction before and after and that's it maybe you can play a little bit more with this um, maybe to add some vignetting here uh, I will add it now again I will I will go to the filter camera row filter because it's the fastest way and just go here and add some vignetting feather it a little bit let's see nice nice it's better even better now before and after before and after and that's basically it you saw in this tutorial how you can combine a few different elements from different images into one interesting composite image and i hope you like it if you have any questions at all please be free to ask them in the comment below and i will answer them as soon as i can okay see you in the next tutorial bye bye